Hello and welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. So, we have some bounties to hand in, which we actually managed to do. Now, if it follows the same way that the previous quest did, now that we've done two sets of bounties, we should have one bounty that pretty much is like the big bounty of the area. And then, um, we haven't really got that much left to do in this particular area. Let's talk to Aska. Okay, so uh, we killed Lagfeth. I'll tell our farmers they can sleep soundly. Here's the reward as promised, and Brynlod has been taken care of. I'll be damned, I didn't think you had I didn't think you had it in you. I'll let the fangs know. Here's the reward as promised. Any other stuff? Oh no. Cool, we're actually just done. Okay. Well we got two level ups and we got taxes. That's cool. So Sagini gets to level up. So what she's saving up for survival 14, I think. So we'll leave her for a second. This one, she gets another one of these. Um, let's think. What was it? Sagini's just kind of attacked all the time. Is there anything she doesn't have yet? Um, I don't know. It can't be a modal. The interrupting blows could be useful. She doesn't have an interrupt yet, I don't think. Damage versus... I, I'm sure these damage versus are very useful. It's just it's hard to like justify them. Uh, she does use a bow. Does she have the bow focus? I haven't actually ever checked. Uh, I assume she has the... That must be a hunting bow, not a war bow. Maybe. Unless war bows are hunting bow. I don't know. Anyway. Um, I'm just kind of clicking through these. Superior deflection's always pretty good. Uh, in terms of class abilities, veterans recovery is also pretty good. Um, I don't know. There's a whole bunch of stuff that could be neat there. Um, yeah, I don't know. Merciless Companions, uh, sneak attack damage though. Yeah, some of these w are like almost good, but not really. I don't know, Rhymer's Summons could almost be alright. 15 seconds in combat and gives her some summons to use. She doesn't really have a lot later in combat. That wouldn't be the worst idea ever. Once per encounter as well. Um, this one as well could be really useful. Basically, it would give her 25% attack speed along with extra damage and con. Uh, the deflection's probably the sensible option. Actually, interrupting blows is pretty good. We'll take that. It could be useful. Right, the scroll will disappear in a second. It's just because we finished the quest. I'll wait for it to go down before we go anywhere else. Right, Grieving Mother. Um, she's pretty high in athletics and lore. I think we're going to continue with that. She gets a new spell. Oh, okay. Um, we already pretty much have all the spells. I would have almost preferred her to get another, uh, like, talent. Talent. Reaping knives just aren't worth it. Is there anything else lower that we need? Something that would be neat? Frightens the target and confuses them. Shocks around... Um, an a, a target. Crow damage. Um, I don't know. Stealing a portion of rev of its resolve. So this one lowers something's resolve by ten, which means that it effectively lowers their deflection by ten. I think is the normal. I think that's the normal ratio. Is one to one. So it's 10 deflection for, it's 10 resolve down on them for 25 on you. Yeah, that's all right. Oh, and we get another one. Nice. Greater focus is pretty cool. Uh, brutal backlash, uh, not really useful. The heal is all right. It would keep us up in situations where we're just getting passively killed. Um, anything else jumping out? I think we'll take the heal actually. Just a little bit of health, because she's never going to be a healing target. And actually, because she doesn't have a lot of health, this is actually very useful for her. Like, this amount of endurance is a large percentage of her health. So overall, it's a larger percentage heal. If that what? makes sense. Yeah, as Durant said, what? Um. Anyway, we're going to go fight a dragon now, I think. We tried this, what, five levels ago? Yeah, and we almost got that. Oh, wow, wait, they're at max level. There is a max level. Oh, never mind, I should have spent points differently then. Oh, I didn't even know there was a max level you could hit. I thought that it was 20 or something there. 
All right. Damn. Okay. Well. Um. Let's head to Longwatch Falls and go kill this dragon. Right. So the dragon should be over here. There could be other things that spawn. We have seen that before. That's where you get the quest to go fight the dragon. I'm assuming the dragon's still there. There's no reason it shouldn't be. The reason I'm being a little bit careful is because occasionally there are... Well, one, the, the one time I came here, enemies spawned. Or had spawned while we were gone. But, no, it doesn't appear like it happened this time. It must just be a one-time spawn. Okay. In we go. Okay, let's think about why this fight is awful. Essentially, it's because dragon over here comes and attacks you, does a ton of damage, and then these spectres spawn. Right? Hey. So, let's think about how we can solve this. First of all, Eddie is going to go up against the I'm dragon. Ready. Um, Palagina with the sword that does extra stuff against spectres who I think are vessels? Uh, where would I find that? Oh, I know where I find it. It is in our journal, in our cyclopedia, which we've never used to actually find out anything useful. Uh, Spectre, 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 Spectre. It's a uh, shadow... Yeah, it's a shadow extra, I think. There we go. They are, in fact, immune to a bunch of stuff, but what are they? What type are they? Spirit, okay. What does she have? that hits spirits. This one destroys vessels, not spirits. Okay. So is the hammer better? The hammer does more damage. It does 25, Well, this one does 28. Like, this one does 25 low. That one, the other one does 28 high. Abaddon's labor is also pretty good. Uh, well, it's not really. Abaddon's power on a critical hit. Prone's enemies. You know what? We'll stick with the sword. We don't need the prone. The divine mark is probably more useful. The burn. Yeah. Okay, um, so we'll have her there. Everyone else is going to have to move accordingly. So, Grieving Mother is going to stand, I believe, over right over here in this corner. Because we don't want anyone spawning on her. They'll just kill her, probably. I'm Although here. she is a little bit tankier than she used to be. Sagini, you're going to go stand back here. You're the back defense for Grieving Mother. Ready when you are. We're going to go stand there. We're not using the unlabored blade. We're going to use the crossbow for the six, uh, section. We're, we're another backup. I'm just going to turn them so they're facing the right direction. Okay. Um, I believe we're going to kill these guys first. Wolf. Um, it's going to go here. There we go. Hmm? Durant. Pretty much your job is to head over here. We're hoping that Eddie can survive by himself. I haven't tested it. At all. So let's see how it goes. What? In fact, no, that's fine. Yeah, Dur uh, Durant can probably go easier. with Melee. That's fine. Hey. Right. Let's go. We have a conversation we've done before, so. Okay, Leave. Dragon. Now. You say you look ill. Barely on your feet. I killed the last wanderer. Uh, Was that the road There we go. I only know that it's centuries I've been uh, while he lived, win. I can never be since I was eventually I noticed something uh, similar to my fellow hatch. I don't wait, I kill there we go. at last. Only a handful of us were I eventually hunted down some of my missing um, siblings. Okay. Others returned to me in other skins and other lives. As that boy did. Let's see what we wanna do here. Um Yeah, could you have grown stronger by uniting? Remaining fettered. Yeah. As interesting as this conversation has been, I've had enough of it. We'll do perception again. I'll take then... my chance. Yeah, that's where we're at. Okay, so Eddie, I believe the moment he hits the dragon, these guys spawn. So, Eddie, actually, he doesn't need the enemies engaged right this second, so he can have the extra deflection for the first hey. hit. You guys, uh, for once, I want you to just follow my my lead. <laughs> There we go. Cool. Um, Durant, give everyone here the extra damage reduction. Imatek's going to attack that spectre. You're going to attack that spectre. In fact, is it her bow that kills spirits? Um, no. No, it's not. Okay. Someone had a bow that... Or did, had something... That, was it... Is it Durant's? No. I'm sure we had something that killed spirits at one point. But maybe I was thinking of the vessels. In fact, I'm almost certain I was thinking of vessels. Right. Fire sword this spectre. 
Uh, you, I'm going to get you to just attack normally without doing anything. And the reason I'm going to get it to do that is so that we can charge up some focus for a more powerful thing. Uh, I guess we are using Unlabored Blade because one spawned on top of us, so we'll stun it. Go. Oh, things are running badly. Okay. We're going to go slow mode. The Spectre's near death. Okay, we have a Wraith heading at Durance. Uh, Durance has not cast his thing yet. Cast it. Uh, this is fine. Alagina should kill that. Eddier needs to heal right now. Yeah. Things are not running well. The Wraith ran away with Palagina. That's fine. Grieving Mother. Um, ideally, if we could keep Palagina alive, that'll probably do us for the fight. I don't know if Eddier's got any chance of living, but we can always res Eddier as well, I just remembered. We've been stunned. The wolf is attacking. You need to kill this one. Uh, hit it with this attack. In fact, because they probably don't have high deflection, you can use double shot. There we are. Killed it. Okay, F. No, you guys here, attack the spectre. That better spirit can be attacked like this. I see. Come over here and attack. There we are. Eddier is not in a good spot right now. Oh, he has abilities. I forgot. Um, Clear out. Yeah, try and knock these guys prone. Okay, hit the ray. There we go. Yes. I, I, what, what else have you got there, Eddier? Overwhelming wave. Well, try it. I mean, it's not immune to... It is immune to stun. Never mind. I no longer sense our merry friend. There we go. Um, Alagina, front, front, front of the group, right here. Uh, Durant's give. We're gonna go defense circle here. Wolf here. We're gonna switch back to our crossbow and shoot the bitter spirit. You're gonna shoot the bitter spirit. You're gonna shoot the bitter spirit. Go. Right out to the side. Uh, Wolf, uh, I want you to go attack the specter. Step back. Attack the Frost Ooze. Um, we're going to shoot the Frost Ooze. That's fine. We have the defense circle's pretty good. Um, attack. Yeah, let's go for attack circle. That's fine. Uh, we need to, I think we want to kill the adds, then we want to kill the big guy. So we, ha we should have a, a top level. So I'll, all allies to use the best defense of anyone in the web could be neat. Could allow us to do some cool stuff there. It's Oh, it's around her though, which isn't too good. Um, stasis shell. Isolate a single enemy. It's versus will. What's his will? 103. It's not going to hit. Um, Mind plague. Jumps through five enemies. Okay, there's a lot of stuff. Maybe we want ringleader on these ice blights. Yes. Just make them ours. Yes. Uh, you guys. Uh, yeah, stick with stick stick with your current target. There we go. Oh, Durant should switch weapon as well when he gets a chance. Alagina. Um. Yeah, Rez. She's got long range. Rez. Perfect. Attack the Alpine Dragon. Ice Blights are on our side. Hell yeah. Um, we got all of them. Perfect. Spectre. That's fine. We got a stun. Uh, can you knock him over? Not mean to... Wait, how did we stun him? He's immune to stun, right? Oh, Psychic Backlash can stun through stun? Neat. Is immune to knockdown, maybe. Oh no, it's immune to crush damage? Yeah, it's immune to crush damage. Okay. We killed that one. Everyone can now actually attack the big guy. Durant. Um Yeah, give everyone the accuracy you didn't actually cast earlier. I really like psychic backlash constantly activating on the Alpine Dragon. That's really cool. 
Although it didn't activate there. He's just, uh, just not attacking anything. <laughs> Neat. Okay, that's fine. Did he get knocked over or something? No, he's fine. Um, one ice blight's against us. We're going to attack it. There we are. That's fine. My mind. Oh, it is immune. Okay, that's fine. Um, steal it. Uh, resolve. There we go. Nice. That's a lot of stuff that it doesn't have anymore. Uh, Imotech dead? Imotech's a lot. Or Imotech. Oh, there we go. Attack that ice blight. It doesn't have any heal or anything. That's fine. Uh, we have anything we want to cast? Uh, we could give someone an endurance over time thing. Uh, oh no. We're going to take this guy's damage reduction. 100%. And we're also going to um, lower its armor. Nice. Got, got uh, a lot of dead st oh, stuff on it. Right there. Yeah. Okay. Getting some good hits in. Uh, we need a, like, a large heal on pretty much everyone. Um, going to go heal these two, I guess. Yeah. You're going to self-heal. You can't heal. Which is a little bit annoying. We could do a crushing wave or a dancing bolt. Try and get some stuff down there. It's really immune to electricity though. Yeah, you just hit it. Um, Palagina. You're lay on hands. You could lay on hands yourself right now. Come on, Palagina. Hang Not quite yet. Okay. That's fine. The double heal on our back line here is all right. We fell down. Which I think is the perfect time for a res. So if we do resurrection. Let's do that here. You two attack the Frostus. Nice. We killed the Frostus. We've killed everything apart from the dragon. Perfect. Attack the dragon. We need a, we need a nice heal. Uh, use your quick heal. Well now. This is testing my that's that's a, that was a good heal. Um, no sacred immolation, uh, just second wind. We have another ice blight, which we're gonna get a wolf to attack while these two attack it as well. Actually, you have to attack big guy because you can't do anything else. That's fine. You can't hit the small one. This one. Fine. Uh, is that Palagina down? Palagina's down. Okay. Uh, another another huge heal. Yeah. Yes. Paladin's back up. Uh, self heal. Move number one. Okay, everybody attack it. Uh, do we have sever? Yeah, we have sever soul, which I think is worth doing. Yeah, probably try sever sever soul on it. Uh, do we have anything here that we want to cast on it? Um, maybe I don't know. There's not anything hugely beautiful. This one grants 25 deflection. Just do that. There we, are. we all have extra armor. Palagina's armor is probably pretty... Or extra uh, deflection. Hers is probably very high right now. Okay. Fire sword it. It's actually weaker to fire than a lot of other... Than pretty much everything. Okay, it's weak to fire. I just realized something. We have ultimate fire guy. Fire Okay, um, you're still doing Sever Soul? No, you stopped casting that for some reason. Okay, um, just hit it. You, Hunter's Mark. Right, uh, probably Mark it as well, Paladin. Paladin. Add some nice damage. Uh, hit it with a damage over time and switch your modal to the one that allowed you to actually hit it. You aren't hitting very often, but you can use the Psycho Vampiric Shield on it. Okay. Uh, we did sever its soul, which is nice. Sworn enemy was suppressed by Marked Prey. Interesting. I didn't know that they couldn't stack because I thought they were unique. Oh, well. Dominion of Sleepers for the extra um, stuff there. Extra um, ability. Uh, nothing else there is useful. Has he got fire on him? No fire on him. Uh, we might. We already threw fire spell, though. I don't know. Why don't we just throw in like, a whole bunch of fire? 
down. Someone fell the feisty bitch. That's annoying. Um, switch to your sword. Go in and blind it. <laughs> I could run in like that. I think it's good. Okay. Um, Res Palagina? Yeah. Or Palagina. This is fine. They got the priest. That's that's uh, that's not so good. We don't have a heal. It's just the Alpine Dragon, which is near death, but that's not necessarily a sign it's gonna die. I thought we don't. M move over here. Uh, do we have a we have a melee weapon? All right, just cast. Once per rest, cast it. Damn. Run, run. Okay, um... It's not quite down yet. Weapon? You got anything here? No, attack it. Come on, hit it. It's immune to crush, so... Not like we're able to do anything against it here. Um... Right. Ah. Indeed. Heal. Got an arrow for this one. She hit it for four damage. <laughs> Say it has like a hundred health left. This is My not ready. ideal. Got an arrow for this one. Okay. 31% chance to hit. 0% chance to hit. Psychic Backlash keeps activating. It's so good. Alright, over sure. here. After an Ichimok. Can't get a good shot with this. The lightning Storm hit it. It swapped target, which isn't good. After an Ichimok. Can't get a good... Uh, Your other weapon also crush. It's also crush. Can we change weapon mid-combat? Nope. She doesn't have anything else on her anyway. Um... How do, how do, how do we do this then? <laughs> we can't hurt it. Oh no. Um, what's the Gini's second weapons? Probably not ideal. Good shot right. with this. No. Damn! Also, hit chance, 29%. Okay. <laughs> I'm on. Psychic, psychic backlash activated. Right, over here. Uh, Grieve Mother, this is your chance to shine. <gasps> we killed it! Sakini had 5 health left. Grieve Mother had 25 health left. We killed the dragon. Oh my god, that was close. <sighs> that was intense. That was super intense. Okay. Well, we killed the dragon. If it makes you rest easier. <sighs> All the loot. That was crazy. Okay. You get some potions. <sighs> and what's in here? The dragon's loot. The Saba Maria. The Saba Mari. It is a thing that can cast confuse on hit. It's not very good. A black sanctuary. As withdraw. It's not very good. Warding seal. It's not very good. Pad padded armor. We got um Ryona's Vam Braces. Misses converted to grazes. Okay, gives damage reduction and DR bypass. It's actually not too bad for like uh the Eddiers of the world. Maybe? I don't know. It's not ideal, but like he doesn't miss that often, or he wouldn't with that. Like that would stop him missing even more. He'd probably stack with this, right? The grazes, con uh, grazes convert to hits, so this one turns his misses into hits, and then his grazes get converted into hit into. Yeah, that's good. He has to lose siege breaker one, which means he loses four resolve. Let's have a look at what that actually does, though. Loses four deflection for a lot of slash damage reduction. What? Yeah, we'll take it. Cool. Well, uh, oh, grab the rest of the loot. I think it's time that we uh, leave this cave.
I'm actually shocked. When we went in there, I was like, oh, we're going to be doing that for the rest of the episode. But we did it first try. So good. Um, let's leave here. Uh, actually, let's do, uh, let's do a quest recap because we've got a few quests we have to look at here. So, obviously, our main quests are still go and do these things. Def descend into the pit, basically, is our main quest. That's all we got to do. Like, we, that's it. Okay. Quests? Servant of Death? We're not doing that because we don't need Bereth's Blessing. And we don't want it. Siege of Craigholt is another DLC one, which we're going to go and do. It should be smaller. It's just like a single tower. So it doesn't sound like it's going to be a lot. Uh, it sounds like it's going to be like a single thing. And then Task of the Wild, we're not going to do. We really don't have a lot. I think we could probably get up to the point where we could almost finish the game in two episodes. Which is crazy. Maybe three. I'm not sure how long the last dungeon's going to be. Or how long the tower is going to be. And then there is a good chance the tower might take us more than half an hour. I don't know. If it has two fights in there, that will take us more than that amount of time. Um, but I don't know if there's much more left to do in, uh, like, main quest. I could see that taking us an hour, maybe an hour and a half. I'm not sure. Uh, we do need to go get some, uh, supplies. I'm just trying to think where's the quickest way. Um, I think we go... Well, quickest way is probably Copper Lane? No. Brackenbury is going to be the quickest way. Whichever one had the closest in. Just realized, before we go too much further in here, we should probably remember what the quest is. The steward of Cade Nua has informed me of recent conflict on a remote bluff in Nadirwood. The torn bannerman, a feared collection of mercenaries, have besieged the local manor of have besieged the manor of a local legend, the Archmage uh, Concealhot. The conflict is over a mysterious magical artifact. The steward believes I should investigate the problem to ensure the safety of Cade Nua. That's where we've gone. Okay. Uh, bubbles rise from the depths of the murky, sludgy stew. A few bones in the pots have been picked clean, and they uh, float uh, amid swirling gobbles of grease. Okay. Stop there. Where do you think you're going? One of the guards takes a step forward. She looks you up and down with a sneer. This area is under the control of the Torn Bannerman. Anyone else wanders in, they're not leaving again. What is going on here? For starters, I've got orders to put a sword through your gut if you don't turn around and run back home. You do realize you're speaking to the Lord of Cade Nua. Wait, Cade Nua. You mean you're the one everyone's talking about? Saving orphans, fighting off bandits, all that? The guard grins, but there's a hint of nervousness in her features. Ah, uh, you might have heard about how I stormed Radric's hold. Look, hang on a second. Let's not get to it. Enough! The commander said no exceptions. I'm not ending up on a pike because this dog has you pissing your trousers. Sorry, my lord. I'm sure the commander will take good care of Cadnua for you. Um, all right then. I did a, ah, I remember what I wanted to check. There was something off camera I wanted to check and couldn't remember. It was what our unlabored blades at. I think this is our chance for, okay. Go forward, hit them with a stun. There we are. You shoot this one. You attack that one. There's probably more, so. Uh, you kind of run out here. Eddie, you kind of run out here. A grieving mother attack that one. Uh, Durant, give everyone buffs. Here yeah. we go. Go. Oh, there's only two. Okay. Well, this changes things a little bit. Oh, Durant, you should uh, melee attack for your for your buff. Here we go. He's not even gonna get an attack in. You got one in. Okay, you got a single attack in. Okay, and now attack this one. Oh, I forgot that she's uh, using her melee weapon right now. There we go. That's better. What? Oh, Endurance is using his, but I want him to use his. There we go. We'll grab our stuff. You so we're obviously me. not talking our way in here. What? Um, and let's silent. sneak and see what we got. Um, we got a snoring one over there, actually. Uh, what we could do is act... Okay, you know what we should do? We should take a step back. Before we turn around and take a step forward, we should then change our formation slightly because what we want to do is we actually want to do something a bit like this now? Yeah. Not a problem. 
<laughs> if we're gonna if we're gonna go melee for the for the blade upgrades. Yeah, that looks like our party thing. It looks a little bit better than it actually did. Okay, I want to talk to this sleeping guy. A sleeping Orlin lies atop a filthy bedroll, several paces from you. Snoring loudly, a large key rests atop his chest, tied to a leather thong around his neck. His left hand loosely holds an empty tankard. Examine the Orlin. The Orlin's heavy, uh, scarred chest rises and falls with loud, uneven snoring he mutters in his sleep. The short, pretty one. How much for her? Well, what will this buy? The Orlin's voice drips off as he continues to, sno uh, to snore. Suddenly, he stirs, his eyelids tightening. No, not the Amua. No! The Orlin curls into a ball and rocks, but does not wake. Quietly approach the Orlin. We will approach them. We edge towards the sleeping Orlin. Suddenly you feel a twig snap under your feet. A large crack splits the air. The Orlin sits up, his eyes shifting back and forth under half-closed lids. His gaze settles upon your shadowed figure crouched beneath the waning moon. One more round with the Amua, please. The Orlin smacks his lips as if tasting an unfamiliar food. Uh, lowering himself back onto the bedroll, he rolls onto his side, cradling his empty mug like a child's doll. Within a few heartbeats, his snoring returns, but with steady rhythm that reminds you of a purring cat. We'll take the key. Ah, because we're dexterity, because we've got a lot of dexterity, we're going to be able to do this. Uh, as we begin to remove the key, a leather the leather thong catches on one of the Orlin's many earrings. The Orlin yelps, and his eyes snap open. The panicked Orlin lets out a blood curdling scream that echoes throughout the canyon. Or did we need seventeen dexterity? <laughs> is is that is that where we're getting here? We needed 17. Ah. Kill him. Yeah. Oh, well, Palagina got knocked back, which is useful because he's now blocking uh, these guys. Um. Right, what do we want to do? Probably want Durant to give us all a nice defense shield. Okay. Palagina's not having a good day. Uh. I'm ready. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that seems fine. Um, shoot the drunken Orlin. Oh, he was a monk. Okay, that's why he wasn't dying. Uh, give. I don't know. Where's Where's Eddie? Eddie got knocked back. Oh, that's that's, that's why he's lower. All right, Wolf, go and attack this berserker. You go and attack the gunslinger. You give these guys extra what? damage reduction. Oh. Okay, we're not doing the worst here. Stun him. That is a wizard. The war mages are wizards. Okay, useful to know. Uh, attack the war mage. Uh, you have actually a lot of points. You have 84. We could just use defensive mind web right now. It's not work. That gives us all a ton of defenses in here, especially because Eddier was right there. Okay. We're not in a good spot. Um, heal of all. Wow, this, this, these fights turned a lot more difficult very quickly. Um, okay. Uh, heal? I think a heal in here, maybe? Um, I don't know. Heal's not really that necessary outside of ourselves. Um, attack might be a better one. Like extra accuracy. Oh, Eddier. Um, turn on your engaged enemies one again. Right, you attack the Berserker. Nice, the, the, the damage through them is quite a lot there. Eddier's okay. Okay, how's Eddier doing? Knock over the Pyromancer. You keep attacking the ones in the back. Okay, uh, knock in a damage with a time on them. It should be a kill. Okay, everyone attack this one. My mind okay. There's so many of them. It's it, it's not even funny how many of them there are. Um, I think we might want to go over here and ringleader. Yeah, let's ringleader. Okay, uh, Eddier needs to heal. Um, self heal. That didn't convert anyone. Okay, um... Charm. This thing isn't doing the job. 
Oh, uh, like converted one. Okay, um... Oh, we got, we got some over here. Charm. Okay, uh... Durance is dead. Eddie is not looking great. We're charming to stay in this. Okay. That knockback was not great. Uh, Pyromancer? Oh, you should have extra attacks. That's probably the better one here. Yeah, cool. We kind of even the fight by just converting everyone to our side. Okay, um... Grieve Mother needs to get over here. None shall stop us! Indeed. Right, um... Start attacking the War Mage, I think. Okay. Ah, uh, the Sergeant's probably the best one. If you switch... If you heal, heal. I... There you go. Switch to your me... Actually, use your thing. And just run away. Right, um, ranged attack. I don't think I used her ability, but she still ran away. Death comes for you. Nice, another couple hits. That one's down. Okay, kill the war mage. Both of you. War mage has to die. If we don't rest soon, you're going to have to carry me. Right. Kill this war priest. Edir is healing, which I like. His natural healing ability is once again being useful. Oh, come over. That heal did keep him there, but they they can't do a lot of damage in melee, so we're good. Another one down. War mage. Oh. Okay. Tough fight. Tough fight. Another couple hits. Yeah, I think you're maybe not meant to fight the entire camp at once. Oh, St. Si Wadewin's reminder upgraded. I didn't. I don't remember rezzing our paladin at any point in this fight, but she got there. And that's it. That's the last one. Which grants revive the fallen, so he grants an AOE revive for the paladin. Oh. I'm ready. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of it. I'm not gonna lie, the 22 to 31 versus 25 to 35. Yeah. The accuracy as well on that's gonna be good. You know, switch to the hammer for just now. We've leveled the sword, so Ready when you are. Hmm? there's no reason to use it unless we see a specific, you know, sword usage point. Grab that. Grab this. I just realized that unless this scaled with the same stuff what? that the um, keeping an eye out. As in, unless this is linked to your original white march level scaling, this might scale to our level, or it might be uh, like un un level scaled, in which case it might be a higher level than some of the stuff we've been dealing with. Anyway, we'll see. We had to rest there. Um, this person would like gold or an F score. Uh, payoff. There we go. What? Right, chest. What's in it? Camping supplies. Well, I mean, at least we came out even. Okay. Oh, where where are we on the unlabored blade? Uh... Ooh, very close. Well, we should have cleared out the entire camp by now, so... No, no, one's here. Lesson to be taught. <laughs> I just thought it was worth just going straight in at them. Sergeant. Um, it's worth the disengage there. Um, attack the war mage. Okay. Keep trying to hit him. At least we have interrupts as well, so that's good. Alagina needs to heal, so uh, self heal. Oh, uh, also heal. Uh, then there we go. That kind of worked. Then self heal. Um, at the Berserker. Charm and the Berserker. Cool. Attack the, uh... Arc. Okay. Uh, Arc's been stabbed. I didn't even see the War Mage was still alive. Okay. Kill it. 
we go. Nice. Nice. Another fight one. Okay. Oh, and a Dragon Maw shield upgraded. So that was deal damage to enemies with it. Kill 10 enemies with it to unlock the next end, uh, thing. But it does come Fear Aura. So that's from a 2 meter radius around the caster. Wait, oh, wait. So when endurance hits below 26%. Enemies around will become terrified. So their resolve and dexterity will go down. That's pretty sweet. And wait, did he have Taste the Hunt before? Damage restores endurance, I think he what? did. That's fine. Uh, that's real good. If secrets whisper here, I shall listen for them. Oh, what we got here? Nothing. Okay. We are just kind of exploring the camp, because there's no reason not to. Are we looking in the area? We're all right. Uh, I think we can probably unsneak and run this little bit here. Yeah. Okay. I just want to totally clear the area. There we go. This is another. It's an area we haven't explored at all. So. Here we go. Grab some more loot. And let's continue sneaking around. Nothing will slip past me. I let Margaret brings fire. Bless. Just all in. The uh, double shot lightning is crazy. It's so good. I don't know why I was ever considering another bow. Double shot lightning is actually just crazy good. Okay. Oh, do I still have Durant's melee? I think I do. Yeah. Kind of everyone's circle. Okay. Right. Um, how are they doing on their things right now? Durant has four blinds, and you have a thousand damage. Okay. Well, let's grab the rest of the stuff. Money. Okay. Chest has Don't a trap in it yet. that instantly killed us. Nice. Um, also had Sentinel's gir Girdle, which grants... Okay. Some interesting stuff. So, yeah... Some endurance, defense against push attacks, and might. Say interesting. Uh, I didn't say good though. It's, I mean, it's all right. It's probably better than a lot of other belts, but I think the stats it gives are available elsewhere. Oh, so this is a cave. So maybe that's meant to be our sneaky way in. Um, well, we already, like, we already killed everyone. Mm. So, uh, let's rest quickly. Oh, it's back at night again. What we got here? We have a letter. Okay. Commander Baelorn. Proceed to Craig Holt with utmost haste. Conceal Hot will not willingly part with the Aguithin phylactery, but you must secure it by any means necessary. Be warned that all previous attempts at acquiring the artifact have been met with abject failure. We know very little about the phylactery, save that it is nearly indestructible. With that in mind, I would recommend using your considerable forces to lay siege to Craig Holt. Once Conceal Holt is dead, you may retrieve the phylactery from the remains of his tower. Delivery of the artifact is your primary charge. But definitive proof of Conceal Holt's demise shall entitle you to a substantial bonus. Spare no expense in, the fulfilling, uh, in fulfilling this task. But know that any outside interference will constitute a breach of this agreement. I have spent considerable resources to ensure that any local authorities will look the other way. Any over-cautious parties, curious parties, should be dealt with accordingly. Ah. Okay. Quick and quiet. That'll be us. Um. Okay. Grab that stuff. So we got a crowbar. Are we looking on stuff? So that's a cave, training ground, command tents. So that is our back, that is a back way in. If we were to have snuck all the way around, we could 100% have snuck in without anyone seeing us. Okay. I said this way. Quick and quiet. I mean, the nice thing about pillars is that you don't have to kill everyone because your XP is not based upon, uh, like, it's not based upon uh, normal XP things. It's not based upon enemies killed. It's based upon, um, like, quests completed or um, enemies killed multiple times. So... Like, if we're just killing humans, then there's no point. Like, you don't need to worry. What's this? A field of I wonder of what this is. Okay. Corpse had Baratheon scripture on it. Okay. And a cloak. 
And then a bed lies beneath a blood-soaked shroud. It reeks of rotten infection. And the surgery table has a ring of overseeing on it. Okay, so they definitely weren't doing well in their siege. Kill him. I don't know who Prothar is, but kill him. Um, I think this definitely constitutes a great opportunity for fire from above. Okay. You there? Um, we're paralyzed. We're paralyzed. Paralyzed. Shoot the big guy. Wolf, attack that one. I blame your Go for it. Um, do we have anything else we want to cast? We could do flanked on everyone. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, we're about to die. Uh, heal. Oh, we got knocked down or something? Maybe. How's the fire doing from above? Has it landed Attack! yet? There we go. Has it landed? It's not great. Uh, Durant's heal. Heal everyone. We're still shooting the big guy. Maybe we want to be shooting someone else, though. Uh, like the mercenary brawler. Uh, okay. Durant's got knocked a little bit, so he can't actually use his thing. Did he heal? He did not heal. Um, you have to bring Durant's back. Okay, Durant's, uh, you need to bring back Palagina. Come on. Durant's. Palagina. There we go. Pelagina needs to self-heal. Durant's needs to heal. Okay. Big guy's about to fall. He's so dead. If we shoot him, he's dead. Like, with the damage over time. My mind feels I bring your end. Yeah, he's almost dead. He's dead. Right, good. Uh, War Priest needs to die. Uh, Brawler needs to die. You right there? We have 74. We just get you to do 300 raw damage to the veteran who's on you. I'll probably do it. Um, heal. Heal. Oh shit, I didn't notice how low people were. Heal him. Oh, we just saved that ears. Great way. Okay, that's good. Um, um. No, that didn't work. Eddie is pretty low. Durant's is pretty low. Heal on the spot. You're fairly low, but you have another heal for yourself. Eddie, okay, we're 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 all right. We're not we're not hundred percent great, but we're all right. Okay. The huntress is strong. Uh. Tagini's down. As is Grieving Mother. Are we about to die to nothing? Okay, I think we're about to die to nothing. I yep. It's just Eddie. He's just gonna die. I there we go. He's gonna get one duplicate. Yeah, we, we lost. Okay. Right, so we just need to treat this with a little bit more respect. So, um... Durant, go back to your you ranged weapon. Me. That's probably about all we need to win this. And then we wait here. Yeah, so Palagina, go flame sword the big guy. Flame sword the big guy. Eddier, go knock him over. You go over here. You're probably going to hit that berserker, I would imagine. Um, you raise our defenses right there. Tap the big guy. Tap the big guy. Wolf attack, big guy. Go. I. Uh, yeah, attack this one and stun him. Okay, this is fine. Probably want to mark the big guy. There we go. Mark him. And then the paralyze was not a bad option, but we could just save up some points and ringleader. In fact, we can ringleader now, which will probably do it. Probably want a ringleader on the ringleader, which would be interesting. Oh yeah, the number we converted there is more than enough to win. 
<laughs> that shit's being reversed, big guy. Okay, everybody attack that one. Oh, attack this one. There we go. Um, this is a little bit interesting. Halagina's kind of... No, attack the big guy. Halagina's in a little bit of an interesting spot. I think she needs to heal. Um, you attack the big guy. You give us damage reduction. Nice. Um, probably give us accuracy next. Okay. This isn't too bad. Oh, we got feared, I think, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Um, is there someone we can charm within range? This one's going to charm target. Nah, okay, run. Run around. Um, shoot him in the back. Hit, hit him. With a an eye strike. There we go. Here we are up here. We got Eddier who's doing fine. We have ourselves who are, I think are stunned. Yep. We have Palagina who's gonna have to start laying on handsing to herself. And we have Wolf. Uh that guy have a lot of defense. Yeah, he kinda does. It's fine though. The split up fight's not good. Uh, yeah, I think we just want to try hitting that one. Durance, anything we want you to do? Fire on everyone is not a bad option. The extra armor probably is the best option though. Or the extra um, deflection probably for Eddier. <laughs> Does Eddie have the... He has the modal on. Okay, you two. We get over here. We're going to start playing this correctly. Uh, attack the sergeant. Okay, Eddie is probably pretty good up here. I would imagine. Up with the war priest, could be doing better. Ah, uh, we didn't. Okay. Kind of getting through the sergeant. Eddie has no heal. Could try overwhelming wave. Like that. Okay. I bring that did some nice stun work. Okay, and then uh Eddie, or how about a knockback like here? Like that didn't really work. Was that not that's dancing thing, it wasn't knockback. Oh, okay. Oops. Well that I probably just hurt himself there. Alligina? Self heal? Yeah, okay. You guys all type soldier. Eddie is dead. Okay. Um Start casting one of these real quick. Then you're gonna go be tanked. <laughs> Alright, cleric tank. Head back here. They got the priest. Or priest tank. We're, we lost. Let's try it one last time. Right, let's try treating this with even more respect. We'll what? switch. That like that. We'll even change our formation back. So. Uh I think it was something like. Was it not something like this? That, but then we had like Durance. Are you here and Durance there? Yeah, I think that was our formation. Okay. Bye. Uh, yeah. There we go. Something like that. Uh, although I think we had Eddie or Impaligina at the same level. Sound. That's fine. We'll keep to ourselves. Quick save. And let's kill them all. On stealth. Just waiting for them to come to us here. We know that the ogre walks over here. I think. They shall. See. Oh, there they we go. Shall see no ogre walks over here. Go for it. In fact, yeah, you you go here. All right, everyone attack it, and then you, everyone attack it. Then you go here. Give. Everybody, 
Yeah, well, I... Okay, that's fine. Ish. Uh, it's not ideal. Right, Wolfie, come back. Uh, Wolf, attack that one. There we are, that's what we're after. Um, attack Krothar. Everyone attack Krothar. Uh, except for you, you're going to give everyone there extra defense. Nice. Okay, so that gives us some good amount of uh, defenses. I guess that's kind of obvious. Now attack it. You. I actually think you're better off shooting the weak ones, like the war priests. Yeah, try and kill them. Probably a better use for you. What, how and why did this guy just walk straight past everyone? Okay. Blade. Stun him. Palagina needs to heal. Okay. Just say the word. That's really not good. Come Run. on, Palagina. That didn't work. Okay. Uh, you need to convert. You need to just charm him straight up. That's that's our only option. Uh, he probably has good will. Okay. Attack the war priest. Attack Krothar. Palagina is okay. Oh, does she have a res on her armor or something? Or is one of her abilities? Maybe she does. Alright, heal. Attack! Alright, attack, heal. Nice. Uh, self heal. Use another heal. Uh. Stun him? Run. Right. Attack like this. The Berserker's on our side, which is nice. I think we got him. Um, Vampiric Shield. Okay. Uh, here... We probably... We could do Symbol of Margarine. Which isn't amazing. We could do Beam Attack on someone, like the War Priest. I mean, Imatech's already dead, so it doesn't... Or Imatech, or whatever it's called. It's already dead. Shield of the Faithful. There we go. We'll go with that. Okay. We're being hit a lot. Not good. The veteran needs to die. Which isn't good. Yeah, he's just invincible right now. Durance. Uh, yeah, we, we just lost the fight. Let's. Okay. For real, this is the last time. Otherwise, we're going to run over. Okay. This is a tough fight. Very, very tough fight. I was doing respect, but I think we need to go further than respect here. I'm I think ready. we need to do. Is we need to go planned. What? So head back here. Uh, Your thoughts must flow deeply indeed. Head in like hey. that. Okay. Start the fight. Perfect, that's what we're after. Let them all in on Eddie or first. Backline, attack the brawler. Go forward. Attack this one. Okay. Now we can start putting our buffs all on one group of people. Nice. Backline, um stun them all. I think seems like a good idea. Uh, wait, I just cancelled that. No. Done them all. Uh, yeah, just keep attacking the brawler that you started on. Try and kill it. I mean, it is a um, monk, which makes it quite good to kill quickly. This is alright. Um, stun if you can. That's how it's done! Yeah, we stunned him. Cool. Everyone attacking the, this brawler. Nice. Everybody focus on the mercenary vet. You need to self heal. Yeah, also healed Eddie, which is nice. This fight is mine. Okay. This is the way we do it. Yeah. Okay. Well, it turns out the fight wasn't that difficult if we just get all of our damage focusing one, and not the big guy with a lot of health. Okay, there we go. I... Chant is dead. War priest. 
There we go. More damage on them. Damage on them. Yeah, we're interrupting every like attack, so there's no way they can do anything to us. Backline all on the war priest. Yeah, there we go. Halagina is actually almost dead, so we have a heal for her. Nice. Uh, Palagina needs I'm to self-heal. Alright, no self-heal coming. Uh, do we have a large heal? Yeah, I'll do. Largest heal. Palagina? Uh, how long are you stunned for? Stunned for another three seconds. Well, I guess we need a another large heal, aren't we? There we go. There we go, she's back up. And now can self-heal. Okay, um... Some interested... Use... No, not, don't use Abdon's Labor. Use this one. Use the very big My mind sun. Feels sharp as steel. We didn't get to hit it. Oh. Well, he's probably dead if that gives us any consolation. Well, there we go. That was neat. It would be more press if it was used if it in the fight. Makes you rest easier. Okay, that's a lot of money. Light, that was a really sound. easy fight after that. We'll keep to like, ourselves. like, super easy. That, that was just... Like... I don't know put it. Like, uh, I think just setting up correctly and giving it a be little conscious. bit of respect was all we be needed constant. to do. Trebuchet smells of fresh pine and hemp. Its beams are still sticky with sap. Okay. I want to maybe get to the point where we could enter the tower before we end up. Depending if there's another fight. If there's another fight, yeah, we might call it in front of this next fight. Oh, also wolf. Oh. Oh my god, no. I wandered into another fight. Uh. Oh, look at the wolf. Okay. Uh, psychic streams. Don't get paid enough. This ends here! <laughs> There we go. We got a couple of stuns. Backline, I'll attack in. Durant's heal. There we go. Nice. Um, we drop in something like that. Probably not going to do too much. Uh, I think we just want to start dropping in defenses on top of ourselves. There we go. Into the fray! Nice. Uh, we want to switch to our blade and start attacking the pyromancer. Presumably we to start with. Rally! We can. There we go. That's not too bad. Oh god! Has, has the other fight noticed us? The other fight's noticed us, I think. Yeah. Okay. Not great. Everyone attack this one. And the other guy goes back to join this scripted event. This isn't going very well. Grab our loot. Grab our re remainder of our loot. And let's end the episode here. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.